Hey, hey, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm alive. Oh, Hi. I was having some issues with the app, but I'm here. How are you? That's a uh, God signals. You have to <laughs> rest today. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> All right. How's it going? Everybody fine? Fine, fine, fine. All right, good. Let's start with let's start with the flu. No way. Like everybody else. Like meaning <laughs> like half of El Salvador. <laughs> right. A lot of people are really sick. True. Unfortunately. Okay, well, be careful. Yeah. Watch out. Hey, good evening, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. Survive. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> Survive. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was hectic, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I am preocupado. Worried. Worried, a little worried. About mm. sickness, too. It's tomorrow, the, the, the company mm -hmm. wants um through the communication department mm -hmm. they want uh, to do uh, they are going to do uh, a video mm -hmm. they feel me <laughs> <laughs> are you worried about being famous on a video <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is about five rules golden. Five golden rules. Yes, you always talk about it, right? Is que future generation generation future is for us for the future generation. So your your video is gonna be there forever. Yes. yes. All right. It's <laughs> solo a mí. Yo no sé por qué. <laughs> You are the only one on the video. All right. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. One second. All right. It's fine. It's fine. To be on video sometimes it's great. Last year I was on a video of an event. I remember. It's going to be all right. Don't worry too much. Okay, everybody fine besides the flu from some participants, yes, all all right, all okay, all right, I see Adriana continue sick probably, because I don't see her, she was not feeling well. Okay. Today is Thursday, right? Thursday 10th. The 10th of November. So it's like 11, it will be tomorrow. And then yep. we have 11, 11. <laughs> 11, 11. Exactly, because today is 11, 10. And tomorrow, 11, 11. Sounds interesting, actually. Good evening, Isabel. Good evening, Vitalia. Some people reporting on the chat. Welcome. A magical number. Right. Sounds like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome. Let's have the attendance, please. Because I see some of you are connected already. I don't see Adriana tonight. Hopefully she's not in the hospital. Carlos, good evening. Listen, good evening. How are you? So -so. Are you fine doing so so because you don't want to be on a video. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to appear on a video. You're gonna be famous. All right, Cristina, good evening. Así me dicen. Cristina. You don't Por want to be nombre. famous. Por el boxeador. Ah, because of the famous Hernandez. 
All right. Para que le voy a hacer honor mañana, ¿eh? <risa> Elsie. Mayet. Fátima. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. Tired. <risa> yes. So tired. tired. <risa> All right. Germán. Mayet. All right. Hector. Present teacher. Alive. Um, I think. <laughs> teacher. Right. Yes. Can I ask you? Do so I participate only uh, listening? All right. Because I'm sick. You are sick. A little sick. bit sick. Oh my God. Yeah. So many people are getting sick. Be careful. Mm -hmm. All right. All the people in my office. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's a pandemic again. Huh? <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> All right. I hope you feel better. Eh, okay. Entonces, puedo participar como yes. como oyente. Yes. All right. No problem. Voy a estar pendiente. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank Isabel. You. Catherine. Present. Lucy. Not here, Lucy. Mayra. Present. How are you, Mayra? Fine. Fine. Great. Nuri. Present, teacher. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you learn oh. like me. Yeah. <laughs> I I have two days of terrible days, but I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. Yes, don't tell yes. me. Por lo menos hay salud. Okay, <laughs> yes. It's important. Yeah. Very important. Very, very important. Yes, too many work, too. Too much. <laughs> too much. Okay. Yeah. Roberto. Okay, thank you. Roberto, Roberto, no yet. Sam, um, of yeah. course, Vit Vitelia, Walter, not Walter, oh my God, what's that? All right, Wendy, not Wendy tonight, not tonight, not and Mac tonight. Irma. <laughs> 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 Do you remember uh, this advertising? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of people like to talk about that. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hey, Mr. Alexander Mismet. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what happened? Uh, yeah, uh, with problem the connection in my house. Uh... Just like me, I don't know what was happening. Uh, I was trying and trying. And I was like, ah. I think uh, I I think I call um, mm -hmm. the internet and the mm -hmm. claro the or, or, or cual, cualquier compañía de esas que mm -hmm. no quiere dar servicio. Bueno. No, but the service has been terrible all day because of my work today. We were working with the cell phones at hotspot. It, yeah, nothing, yeah, exactly. Nothing worked. And today there was a meeting. There were a lot of directors in the center and nobody was able to use the Wi-Fi. Yeah. <sighs> I say present teacher. Yes, thank you. I got it. I got it already. Okay. Escriban una oración usando un superlative en el chat. Cualquier cosa que se les ocurra que tenga un superlate. Like, my biggest dream is that <laughs> the highest place in El Salvador is whatever sentence using a superlate on the chat, please. And I can put the most creative sentence using a superlate. I'm waiting. I'm going to give you some time for you to think of a creative sentence using a superlative. The longest river. 
in your salon. <laughs> we used to have one. <laughs> the bravest act I ever made. The scariest movie I ever seen. The most difficult job I ever done. Whatever, whatever you want to say, using a superlative in a sentence. What que tanto recordamos from yesterday class? Using superlative, of course. The most efficient person I know is the craziest. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Ni el chat de Zoom quiere funcionar. All right. My biggest dream is to be in a bed. <laughs> right now. But that is sarcastic. In this right moment. <laughs> no, no it's sarcastic. I'm not bad. I'm, I'm so tired. Yeah. But uh, when yeah. you talk about your biggest dream in life. <laughs> in this moment, this is my biggest dream in my life. No, <laughs> you're just saying because you are feeling tired. But let's say my biggest dream is to have enough money to travel all over Europe. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. My biggest if, dream if, if. is. If we, if we talk about this, I think in this moment, uh, my biggest dream is uh, study for a pilot. Oh, to become a pilot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be great. This is my dream from all life. Uh -huh. like, so, like some people say, oh, my biggest dream is to meet Bad Bunny. No, I say, <laughs> I say, <laughs> good dreams. Not Enjoy. Not, not, not nightmare. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but I'm telling my kids from oh, okay, you know, okay, okay, poor those, kids. Yeah, I'm, those I'm kids sorry dream. About it. You know, I have to talk to them like every day. Instead of teaching English, I'm teaching them values in life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the and music them, values. And and I tell them, <laughs> look, there is a bigger world, but yeah. it's hard. I know that's the hardest year I ever been teaching this year. Yeah. Yeah, it's and been this... so hard. Yeah. It's been so difficult. Okay, the best Mexican food is birria star. Oh, somebody's hungry. Uh, <laughs> the best Mexican food. All right, good. My favorite food is the biggest hamburger. All right, that's great. The ocean is the deepest of the world. True. The, this day, oh, it's today it was the craziest day in life, <laughs> all right? El Salvador has the largest traffic in Central America, most likely. San Salvador, probably. Mm. Usain Bolt is the fastest athlete in the whole world. Yeah, nobody has overcame his record. Unbelievable. That man was fast. San Salvador's traffic is the worst in El Salvador. Yes, that's definitely true. Okay. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Why not? The worst traffic is in San Miguel. Really? Yeah. No, look at Nuri. No. Uh, <laughs> it's not true. Fight. It's not true. How do you say? How do you say it's cemetery? The worst in cemetery. Cemetery. It's a cemetery. When you are in front of the cemetery, you can turn to the left, but everybody turn to the left because you don't know uh, uh, alternative uh, ways. <laughs> In but Sunday. already fans on me. But now with the bypass, they say that the traffic is going to be uh -huh. solved. Mm -hmm. But so. the, the bypass is on the on the, uh, the entrance. In the beginning, yes. in the entrance. Mm -hmm. yeah. the entrance. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but in the, the city, in the, the market. 
near for claro or near for for the the the, the, the downtown yeah the downtown mm -hmm. it looks like india <laughs> more or less more or less i have seen videos that they say yes india is terrible and then the next place is peru they say nobody respects there's no traffic rules there's nothing so everybody goes whatever way they want that's terrible <laughs> definitely okay yeah so salvador sometimes is hectic especially i have noticed that especially before a holiday people are like everywhere but nobody wants to go home <laughs> in a few weeks in a few weeks it will be better walk yeah Flying will be a good choice, actually. <laughs> worse, worse near of the shopping the commercial. Yeah. yeah. Near the shopping malls get terrible. Yeah. And I'm shopping thinking... center too. Both. <laughs> <laughs> People are getting new clothes. <laughs> well, new for them. New, new. <laughs> <laughs> All right. True. Okay, San Miguel is hotter than Morazan. Okay, this is a comparative, but we're using superlative, remember. So the hottest place in El Salvador could be, it's La Unión, definitely. Pasaquina is the hottest place I've ever been. That's Santa the worst. Rosa de Lima. Hmm, really? So probably it's nearby. The, 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 la, 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 los tubos de, what? de, Gas? de agua. Mm -hmm. No pueden ser plásticos. Really? They get melted. Tienen que ser metálicos, porque si no se derrite. Jesus. Oh, wow. But it's so, so contradictory because the, the place near there is Morazan. Morazan has mountains. And in the mountains, they say it's cool. That's so, so weird. It's like Chalatenango. They say Chalatenango in the city is hot. But if you go to the hills, to the mountains, it's cold. So that's nice. I think you can have both weather, both climate in the same, well, the same region, because Chalatenango is one region. All right, great. No more? No more sentences using superlative? Let's see. ¿Quién no ha participado? <laughs> okay, we have Vitalia, Nuri. Isabel, Mayra, Fermán, Carlos, Isabel, again, yes, <laughs> Catherine, and Sam. Uh -huh. The others? No participation. All right. We're going to give you a bad grade, a bad score for the participation <laughs> in the sentences. It's all right. Don't panic. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look what we have for today's class, Thursday, November the 10th, right? Yes, I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to say anything wrong. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Yes. All right, this is just a refresh from yesterday's topic. Okay, the spelling of the comparatives and superlatives. Okay, remember the comparative was one of the first topics we studied during this course, during this module. And of course, now we're studying the superlative. Of course, they are connected somehow because they are made from the, from the same adjective we can have comparatives and we can have superlatives right when we use comparative we're just comparing between two things two places two people two objects right but when we use superlative we are comparing among three or more a group could be and of course there is an exercise on this exercise you're going to say say the comparative and say the superlative okay Remember, for the comparative, we add then, and for the superlative, we add the. So, comparative of tall would be taller than, and the superlative would be 
the tallest. Remember the EST for one syllable adjective, right? So if the adjective has two syllables, but the final letter is a Y, then we still apply the same rule. We say prettier than or the prettiest. But if it has two syllables without the Y at the end, then you say more or the most, right? And then, of course, you have to decide whether to use a comparative or a superlative of the adjective in parentheses in each of the sentence, all right? Let's see. We're going to work on that exercise in small groups. Let's make, well, these groups. Hopefully, you all can join and at least be listening what your partners are discussing. Because if you stay in the main session, you don't practice anything. Era, yo, anoche no me pude conectar. Eh, we have to write the comparative relative of the list, the words. El otro lado del charco. Entonces, por eso. Ay. Tú tienes Vamos la captura. A... ¿Cómo? Usted tiene la captura. Eh, ya, ya compartió la imagen. Ah, ok. Ahorita la busco. No la puedo compartir. Hoy. No. 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 Mm. Pero si ya. En en el segundo one say short, shorter than, y en el último tendría que ser the, the shortest. 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 Ajá, uh short. -huh, short. Short. Shorter, ¿verdad? Short. 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 Ok, dice que hagamos comparativo, superlativo. Ok, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Y después dice que escoge la mejor respuesta. En el caso de Toll. Y creo que aquí... No, no es, 
esta misma cosa. Taller. Ah, pues aquí sería Taller, justo Taller, y aquí sería Tallest. Exacto. Y wow. la, solo que hágalo un poquito más grande porque okay. ya la edad ya no deja ya. No, pero... Si usted se mira a ver todavía, Cristi. Ah, oh, sí, bicha. <risa> ¿Cómo no? Igual que, que Catherine, Catherine se mira bien joven. Catherine está joven. Ha de ser un montón de viejitos con los que tengo clase. De ser. Ah, va. <risa> Vaya, no sé cómo escribir. Pero... Aquí. Chales. Chales. Chales, my brother. I am Chales, my brother. Chales. Taller. No, me equivoqué. Es al revés, ajá. Es al revés, sí. Ay, muchacho. Ojalá ese para... copienlo en la oración. Ese va en la oración. Ok, solo lo voy a borrar porque no puedo. Aquí, en esta no puedo. Ah. Es más complicadito. Taller. Ajá. Y este es Tales. Tales. O sea que. Sí, va. Esta de acá, I am Taller. Sería Taller acá. Taller, ¿por qué? Porque solo la. Eh, ah, el comparativo, comparativo, es cierto. Ajá. Cuando es de varios, entonces es Tales, es superlativo. Es cierto. Quiero ver si cabe, porque esta cosa está demasiado. Demasiado big. A ver si cabe. Se va a entender. But short. Entonces aquí sería. Permíteme. Short. Shorter. Shorter. Y shortest. Y aquí shoot. Shoot less. Shortless. Shortless. Y dice she. Porque lleva vocal entre consonantes. Uh -huh. Thing is comparative. Ah, thinner sí. than. Superlative. The thinnest. Define sí. Doble N. Doble N, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Y Father. Father. Espérame. Fat. 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 Ajá. Fat. Pero es con doble T. Doble T. Doble T. Pater y Pat, Pates. Pates, doble T. Doble T, Pates. Cinco, Fast. 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 Sería Fast, ¿verdad? Con doble T. Fast, Faster. Faster, no, con una T. Faster. Faster than. Y el otro es superlative, es fast, fastest. Fastest. <coughs> Seis. Chip. Fastest. Chip. Fastest 
The superlative is the cheapest. Mm -hmm. The cheap. All there. All this. On. Eight city happy happier na happier na in the comparative. Mm -hmm. Papa, Heavy. 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 Uh -huh. Heavy. 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 The Heavy. 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 Number ten. Tutu kaya nung kaya kung thirty. No. Okay. Dear dear dam and dear dears. Number eleven. Good. And the routine, le agregaste la otra T o do pusiste solo de routine. No. Dirty. Dirty is but but can change the Y for the I. The la letra. Mm -hmm. Dirty. Yeah. The dirtiest sería el último. And the the eleven is irregular. Good. Better, better, tendría que ser better, better than. And the last one, and the superlative, the best. Bad. And then the twelve. Y words respectivamente. Eh, básicamente las reglas que estuvimos viendo. Exactly. Ayer. Exactly. The mm -hmm. same rules that we talk about the adjective yesterday in the box. Do you remember that? Yes. Great. You have a good memory. Okay, do the exercise. Number one. I am, the adjective is tall, my brother is comparable. Cumple la, la, la regla de consonante, vocal consonante, y cuando las cumplen se duplica la última. Pato. La última. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Entonces, Como en el caso del hot también. ¿De cuál? Del hot. 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 Ah, ok. Ah, Ah, okay. Javi, este sí es Javier, ¿verdad? Javier, sí, porque la regla de la Y dice uh -huh. que 
Como que, pero sí se pronuncia. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Javier. Javier. Javier, ¿verdad? Javier. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo que fuera el nombre? Javier. 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 Dirty. Dirty. Es el la misma. Er. Dear dear. Hola. Dear dear y dear dear. Este. Ah, aquí no hay tal, es el que este es good, así que este es. Ay, ya se me olvidó. Bed. No, dear. best. 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 El comparativo best. El... Bueno. Comparativo es best, ¿verdad? Better. Ah, better. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y el otro es? Best. Ahí sí es best. best. Ok. Uh -huh. Best. Bad. Y siempre Worse. es works. Ajá, uh -huh. works. Así va. No. En vez de la K va la E. Worse. Ok, worse. Uh -huh. Es worst. In here? Ahí sí es worst. 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 No, sin la, solo la S y la T. Solo la S y la worst. T. Ajá, worst. Sin la E. Sí, sin la E. Ok. John. John, superlative es is junk. Es junk. This case is a comparative. I am taller than my brother. Taller than my brother. She is younger. Okay, the second one. In here. She's not compared to the other person. Because we are talking only for one person. Mm -hmm. Okay, the answer would be my mother is shorter in her family. Okay. Shortest. Así me imagino que quedaría. Short, short, short. En short, el superlativo de short está eh, solo la L de quitar. What's number? Short, two. Short. Short. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Qué tengo que quitar? La L del superlativo. Ah, no, ya, te, ya le entendí. Shortest. Shortest. Ay, ups, uh -huh. me volé la que no era. Shortest. 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 Y thinner eh, es con doble N. ¿Cuál? La número tres, thinner. Why? Eh, siempre cumple de, este consonant vowel well consonant. Ok. Igual esta. Permítame, pero quiero ver. ¿Cuál? Chinese. O sea, las la, la dos. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá, sí, las dos. No puedo. Jesús. No ah, quiero. No deja. No deja. No es que quedó abajo de las otras, por eso creo yo. Sí. Uy. Mm. No 
Va, voy a correr primero que okay. antes de que se acabe el tiempo. Por lo menos así tenemos uno. Tiner. Ah, es esta cosita. The shortest, shortest in her family. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. My mother is shortest in her family. Shortest in her family. Is more. I like sushi. Says. But Chinese food is more delicious. But Chinese food is yeah mm -hmm. more delicious than. Thailand. Mm -hmm. the, the most delicious tendría que ser the, uh, correct, the most delicious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. My drink is Patro de Papá. Este es otro superlativo, creo, número siete, ¿verdad? El número siete. Te tomaste en serio, final de eso. My drink is gorgeous. All the drinks. Mm -hmm. My sister is smart. There is the most smartest. Mm -hmm. Estudio y uh -huh. mm -hmm. Eso, another superlative. Mm -hmm. In her class. Nine bits. Depends. The books are thin. Think saver. Think. Okay, let me see in my phone. Okay, what can you say? Tick. Tick, not her. Tick, uh mm huh. -hmm. Those books are thick, thicker tendría que ser than the other books. The other books. Comparative. Thicker. Yes. Other books. And the last one. Her brother the is. Best. Her brother is. The best. The best. Mm -hmm. Best. Soccer player in his team. Superlative. Superlative, exactly. On his team. Okay, we are finished. <laughs> yeah.
Finish. Finish the exercise. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. Comparative of tall, easy. Taller than. Taller than. Right, the superlative. Tallest. The tallest. Yes. Correct. Short. Shorter than. Shorter than. Okay, the superlative. The shortest. The shortest. Okay. Comparative of thin. Mm -hmm. Thinner than and the superlative. The thinnest. The thinnest. Sounds funny, right? <laughs> you can say, oh, just the thinnest person I ever met. <laughs> All right, fat. Fatter than with double T and fattest. 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 Right? Fast. Teacher, se puede yeah. ser de dos maneras, de fates o de fares. Sí, se puede de fares. If you want to sound like very American, pero yo en el caso de, de double T, eh, sugiero que pronunciamos como la T. Sí. Porque sí se puede el, lo del R sound con, la, con una T, pero ya con dos es como más complicado. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y para que no lo confundamos con el fast. Uh -huh. okay. Por ejemplo, acá okay. con el shorter. Uh -huh. Ahí sí, no, no hay problema. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Faster than. That would be the comparative, right? Faster than. And. The. Fastest. Right. Okay. Cheap. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. And the cheapest. The cheapest. Mm. The cheapest. All right. Old. Older than. Older than. And the oldest. The oldest. Este también tiene una variante. Por lo, por lo menos, yo lo he escuchado en británico que dice the eldest. Y se está refiriendo the oldest. The eldest child, dicen. Happy. The ha happier than. Happier than and. The happiest. The happiest. That was the happiest day of my life, people say, right? Heavy. <laughs> Heavier than. Heavier than. I'm oh, sorry. And? The heaviest. The heaviest. Like that was the heaviest day. No? Dirty. Always. <laughs> uh huh. Dirtier. Dirtier than. Uh huh. Dirtier or dirtier than could be. Mm -hmm. And the dirtiest. The dirtiest. Right. Good. Better than. Better than. And uh, the best. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bad, worse than, 
worse than wait I need this one. I need to click on it worse than and the worst the worst the worst of the worst dangerous more dangerous more dangerous Vaya, sabemos que lleva el dan aquí por espacio, no lo voy a poner. More dangerous than and... The most dangerous. The most dangerous. The most dangerous, right? Okay, expensive. The more expensive. More expensive. That's Ajá, more expensive than, por space, no voy a poner el than, pero ya sabemos que el comparative lleva than. More expensive than, and... The most expensive. The most expensive. Alright. Okay. And... The more difficult. difficult. More difficult. And more difficult than, and... The most the difficult. The most difficult. The most difficult. All right. Va, esa era como la plana, ¿verdad? Porque no se nos olviden los spelling y las reglas. Hay tres reglas, literalmente. Cortos, EST. The, and the adjective, and EST. Los que tienen terminación Y, aunque tengan dos sílabas, sí aplican a las mismas, a la misma regla. Los irregulares, good and bad, y los de más de tres sílabas, more and the most, right? Respectivamente para comparative and superlative. All right. Choose the best answer. I am taller than my brother. Taller than my brother. Taller than my brother. Sí, compárate, porque si me estoy comparando yo y mi hermano, en este caso. I am taller than my brother. No sé si este va a caber acá, pero si no cabe, lo voy a poner a la par, ¿ok? Ok. Taller than my brother, ¿ok? She is studying in her class. Youngest. The youngest. youngest. She's the youngest student in her class. Okay. The dog is the cat. So, aquí estamos comparando. Dog, dog and cat. Older, older than. than. Uh -huh. older. older than. So, we'll be older than. So, the, cat, the dog is older than the older. cat, right? The red jacket. The blue jacket, también dos, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos. More expensive than. than. More expensive than. So, the blue jacket is more, no, the red jacket is more expensive than the blue jacket, right? Okay. My mother in her family. De todo lo Is que the shortest. Uh -huh. The shortest. Or the shortest. Right? I like sushi, but Chinese food is. Estamos comparando. Sushi and More. Chinese food. More delicious. Delicious. You think. Chinese food is more delicious than sushi? No. <laughs> no. It's Not different. really. It's different. But. <laughs> to each is on. <laughs> Para los gustos, los colores. Bye. My drink is of all the drinks. The, cold. the coldest. The coldest. Todas las demás rings. So my drink is the coldest. My sister, his student in her class, is the mother, ma, smartest. The smartest. 
la más lista, the smartest, the most intelligent. Those books are um thicker than yes thicker than the other books estamos comparando esos books y los otros books right her brother is the best the best the best soccer player in his team yes in general right correct Pónganse chequecito, pónganse 10. Ah. <laughs> Give yourself a 10. Yes. Great. Ya podemos borrar, quitar esto. Yes. No problem. Tomaron notas. Yes. Good. Clear all drawings. También Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Después de este repaso de los comparatives en superlative, bueno, el review realmente era de superlative, pero tomamos ahí aprovechando y hicimos un breve review también de los comparatives, ya que la temática generalmente es del mismo origen, o sea, se originan de los adjectives. Vamos a tomar la second attendance y luego entramos con la conversation. Adriana, pobre Adriana, pueden enviarle ahí messages para que se sienta mejor. Pero se ha visto con oxígeno últimamente. Hopefully she gets better. Carlos. Present teacher. Christy. Present. Elsie. Present teacher. How are you? Uh, bye. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Ahí le envié un screenshot. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hoy sí ya. Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Fátima. Present teacher. Germán. Present teacher. Héctor. Present teacher. Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Okay. Mayra, present. Nuri, present teacher. Roberto, present. Hi. Oh, Vitelia. Oh, no, Samuel, sorry. Present, present. Vitelia. Walter. Present teacher. Lo logró, Mr. Walter. Yes. <laughs> okay, Wendy. Sí, yo mal también, Wendy, most likely. Y, I'm sorry, en Irma. Present teacher. Hi. Present you. Me sacó un momento el inter, está fallando. Really? That's terrible. Todo el día está así, everywhere. Internet is being poor. <laughs> poor, like a poor, poor country. <laughs> Internet connection. All right, thank you. As I told you, no estoy segura, pero déjenme de una vez compartirles desde el manual para que puedan ver en qué page es el link, en page 29. ¿Ya lo ubicaron? Yes. Page 29, vamos a practicar esta conversation, ¿ok? Ayer estuvimos discutiendo un poco de las formas en que eh, son monitoreados los employees en sus companies y qué tipo de documentation is used to monitor, to check or to make sure that employees are doing a good job, right? Y obviamente vamos a ver lo mismo pero en una conversation, ok? So, we have the kitchen manager and Mario. Ready? It says, oh sorry, and Mary, so he's asking for Mary. Actually, le pregunta a Mary, ¿dónde está Mario? Ahí lo andan buscando, Mario. All right. <laughs> it says, where's Mario? 
He is late for his shift. Marion? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called me. Directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Bye. Problemón que se le armó. So, the kitchen manager anda buscando a quién? A Mario, ¿verdad? Y le pregunta a Mary. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. And Mary says, Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Que bueno onda la Maryla. Bye. ¿Qué entendieron de esta conversación? Que la voz tenía razón. <risa> que la voz andaba preocupada. Mo. No, tenía razón porque Mario tuvo que haberle escrito a ella, no a la Mary. Ay, la Mary a saber quién es. <risa> ah, pues sí. Es la novia. Ah, la novia en el trabajo. <risa> A la que le pica las costillas. <risa> ¡Qué mala gente! Uh, no. ¿Es his friend? Una suposición. Uh. <risa> Pero no suponiendo. <risa> you should have that. <risa> Va a decir, digamos que sí, ¿verdad? Pero, no sé. Ya aceptó la teacher, digamos ya, que sí. Ya, no había otra. Es la no. otra. No, yo lo que les preguntaba es que qué entendieron del Shuras. <risa> no, de la historia de, de Mary y Mary. Ajá. ¿Para qué usamos el should have? Sh eh, should de, have a romance. Una sugerencia. <risa> Ajá, una suggestion, ajá, debió haber, eso es, debió haberme llamado a miles directamente, ajá, y la otra chica le dice, ay, le, 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 una orden, no, el should es como una recomendación, pero una, una forma de decir, debí haber hecho algo, porque tiene el have, should have, si yo le okay. digo a usted, you should do something, ahí es como le digo, debería hacer algo. O sea, le estoy sugiriendo, pero fuertemente, ¿ya? Entonces, en este caso, he should have called me directly, es como, él debió haberme llamado a mí. Y sí, o sea, si ella es la voz, obviously, he should have called her. No, que le llamen, o le dice quizás a la otra compañera, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Y en el caso de Mary, dice, ah, yo le debía haber dicho. O quizás le pido el favor que le dijera y no le dijo bien. También ella. Y por obviously, el arrepentimiento se va a quedar. Obviously, ajá. Si sí, ese era el message, o sea, el hombre lo hospitalizaron. Porque dice, es very sick. O sea, y a algunos hospitales le quitan el cell phone a ¿no? una. <risa> bueno, le dije, pues, y se quedó ingresado. Alright. Pero ese es el uso. Should have. Obviously, cuando usamos esta estructura, el verbo no va en base form. Tiene que ir en pasado, participio. ¿Y cuáles son los verbos en pasado, participio? Ya, tranquilo. Ok. No podríamos decir, I should have tell. You, no, no puede ser así. Tiene que es, le debía haber dicho. I should have told you. Yes? He should have called me. Por eso ven el the ahí. 
Ah, yes. Y la otra, la otra estructura que tenemos acá es I could have. Yo pude haber encontrado un substitute. I could have found. No podríamos decir I could have found. Sino que I could have found a substitute. Yes. Bye. Voy a dar un ratito para que practiquen la conversation y luego estudiamos este tema a más, con más detalles. Ok. Let me see. Just a second. Ok. Wait a second. Vamos a agregar un room más porque creo que en algunos ya están como muchos. All right. Here we go. I don't know why, teacher. Uh, I can't uh, join the rooms. I the forum for joining. Really, something weird. Are you connected with this with the same um account? Yes. Uh, uh, that's so weird. And have you been connected with this uh, device before? Or this is the first time? Uh, no, I, I'm using my cell phone because my, my laptop doesn't work right now. Yeah, but did you connect with this cell phone before or this is the first time? Uh, this is the first time. Mm. Well, yesterday. Yeah, I tried, but I, I couldn't. Mm, that's weird, though. Anyways, I see. Let's see. Yeah, no. You will have to practice practically on your own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. Let me go check the rooms. Elsie, después. Okay. Okay, Carlos. Hi. Okay, Vitelia, you are kitchen manager. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Mario? He is late for this ship. Mario? Goodness. Got a call that he is very sick. I, sh I should have told you earlier. <coughs> Don't worry, he should have called me direct, directly, sería ayuda, directly. Mm -hmm. uh, if he had called to my phone, I could have a phone as sub, yeah, substitute. Uh -huh, substitute. Substitute, by now. Eh, lo voy a volver a decir. Okay. Don't go. He should have called me directly. If they have called to my phone, I could have a phone a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. Now, right. Carlos. Carlos. Okay. Uh, Okay. Carlos, it's a manually. Uh, where? Okay. Where, where's Mario? 
is late for his shift. Mario, good news. I got a call that he's very sick. Don't worry, I come and get active. I have come for a good performance. Only now, so let's repeat other, other. Godness, okay. It's a kitchen. When I pardon, it's a kitchen man. Okay. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I. He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got to call that he's very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry, he should have called me directly. If he had called to my home, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. Thank you, Mari. Hizo falta ahí. Cabrón. Vaya, Roberto. Doña Irma. Uh -huh. I'm kitchen manager. Yes. Uh -huh. But where is where is Mario? He is late for his shift. Mario, good news. Uh, I could a call the he is very sick. I should have told you early. early. Don't worry. Don't worry, he should have called me directly if he had called to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. Vamos a ver. Por si nos pregunta la ficha. Yo, nosotros contestamos así, pero no estoy seguro si esto está bien. Ahí está la teacher, no está oyendo. Hola, teacher. Hi, you finished already. Yes. No problem. Ah. Should have, no. should have told. All right. Solo era practice, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, just practice a conversation, no problem. Ok. All right, easy. Easy, easy. Yes, very easy. All right, let's see. We're just gonna have a couple of you practicing the conversation again, saying the conversation. So the first time we're gonna listen to Roberto as the kitchen manager. And we're going to have Fatima as Mary. Ready? Ready. Go. Where is Mario? He is late for his shift. Mario? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Good. Nice. Someone else wants to practice? Let's see. What about Carlos and Cristina? Oh, Isabel wants to practice as well as 
he raises his hand. Okay. All right. ¿Quién comienza? You, you start. Okay. Where's Mario? He is late for his chief. Mario, good, goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. You have to. You early. Don't worry. He shall call me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Nice. Great. Now Isabel, because he raised his hand, and what about Walter? Okay. Okay. Go. I will be kitchen manager. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario? Goodness. I got a call that he is very thick. I should have not told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called it to my phone, I could have phone a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me call it for him. Nice, great. No problems. Yes. Easy, easy. No okay, look at the conversation and complete the statement. Uh-huh. Como les quedo esta sentence? I should have told you. Okay. I should have told. Have told you. Let me see. Let me what is passing. No, wait a second. I shouldn't have done this. I should have left just one space, probably. Okay. I should have told you. Mm -hmm. I should have told you earlier. Uh -huh. Next. He shall have called me. Directly. He should have called me directly. You see? Yes. Directly. Mm -hmm. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, mm -hmm. I could have found. I could have found a substitute. Substitute. Yes, I could have found a substitute. Bye. Veamos. Ok, esa parte de la discusión la vamos a dejar para un poquito después, donde dice, Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? How did you handle the situation? Did you get a substitute? Did you assume some of the absence of police responsibility? Ahorita lo vamos a posponer, porque me interesa que estudiemos esta fórmula. Algo que quiero que recuerden siempre es, should have, could have, should have, could have, y luego vamos a ver los verbos, ok, eh, vamos a borrar acá, y vamos a la siguiente parte, veamos la primera parte del cuadro que les presenta el manual, para qué usamos los models to express regret or remorse about past situation, Bye. Esto en Spanish significa que vamos a usar should have o could have, ¿ok? En este caso solo tenemos should have. Todos los ejemplos se fijan de este lado del cuadro son con should have más el past participle del verbo, 
Me van a decir, ay, ¿cuáles son los pasos para ese punto de los verbos? Take it easy. Don't suffer too much. Ok. Ya lo vamos a ver. Use perfect model. Así se llama esta estructura. Perfect model. Para expresar regrets o remorse about past actions. Regrets es como... Ajá. El arrepentimiento. ¿Sí? O el remordimiento, el remorse. Acerca de una acción pasada que debí o no debí haber hecho. ¿Sí? Por eso es el should have. Y acá tenemos algunos ejemplos. Dice, I should have sent the report sooner. Debí haber enviado el reporte antes. Y de forma negativa, I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. Es, debí haber enviado el reporte más temprano. Y aquí es, no debí haberle pedido a ella que llevara esas cajas. I should have, y en negativo, I shouldn't have. ¿Ya? Luego, en la siguiente parte del cuadro, tenemos could and would are often used with if. Esa parte es como un condicional. Por decir algo, <coughs> if I had, if I had known you were sick, si yo hubiese sabido, ok, por eso es un condicional, es una condición, si yo hubiera sabido que tú estabas enfermo, I could have gotten a substitute, pude haber buscado, pude haber conseguido un substitute, yes, the manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him que dice el manager pudo haber eso pudo haber encontrado o pudo haber arreglado perdón el schedule si, si tú le hubieses mencionado que estabas enfermo o if you had mentioned it to him right regresando a la situación de la conversation and i would have Come to work if I had received the schedule on time. Yo hubiese, por eso digo, hubiese venido a trabajar si hubiese recibido, if I had received the schedule on time. Bye. Vamos a dejar esta parte, ahorita lo estoy diciendo, like paraphrasing, pero vamos a ir one at a time. Entonces vamos a enfocarnos en esto. I should have. I should have. Algo que hice que ahora deseo no haber hecho. O algo que no hice y que ahora deseo haber hecho. Y por eso dice, express regrets and remorse about past action. Bye. Pregunta sincera. La respuesta también tiene que ser sincera. ¿Alguna vez han estudiado las formas de los verbos? Forma base, forma pasada simple, forma del pasado participio. O por lo menos yes. le suena alguna idea. Yes. Yes. Clink, clink, clink. Yes. Vale. Entonces, <risa> los verbos es una cosa maravillosa en el idioma. Porque sin verbos no hay acciones. Sin acciones no hablamos. Entonces, hay verbos regulares y verbos irregulares. ¿Y eso en qué nos afecta en este tema? Pues porque tenemos que saber el pasado participio. Entonces, los verbos regulares fácil. Es, por decir algo, call en presente, en base form, la forma básica. Para decir el pasado o la forma pasada simple, digo cold, solo le pongo ed. ¿Y el pasado participio? Pues también lo mismo, solo le pongo ed. Entonces, y esos son todos los verbos regulares. El reto se presenta con los irregulares. Que, por ejemplo, yo digo go, no puedo decir go el en la forma pasada, sino que digo went. Went. Y el pasado participio? Gone. Go. Gone. Ajá. Entonces viene como esta dinámica de recordar cuál es la forma pasada simple, cuál es la forma pasada participio de los irregulares. Go, when, gone, do, did, done. 
Algunos tienen como este pattern, que una vez o no lo identifica, hasta se recuerda, ¿ya? Como el verb to be. El verb to be es lo más maravilloso. Be en presente, tres conjugaciones. Am, is, are. En pasado, dos conjugaciones. Was, was were. Y en participio, been. Eso es lo más variado. Yes. Do. Base form do. Forma pasada. Did. Y participio, done. Por eso es I'm done. Right? Entonces, cuando usamos la estructura should have, tiene que ser con el past participle. Si no lo recordamos, hay muchas formas de buscarlo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Pues eso les pido. What's the past participle of cook, por ejemplo? Cooked. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, yo les voy a dar unos listados, pero obviamente lo más efectivo es aprenderlo en contexto. Veamos, voy a escribir en el chat una oración de algún regret, de algo que yo me arrepienta del pasado o algún remorse que yo tenga. Entonces yo voy a escribir un ejemplo y luego ustedes tratan de hacer uno. I should have... Y luego necesita el verbo en paz para I should have <coughs> drunk more water. Bye. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Debí bueno. haber tomado más agua. Debí haber tomado más agua. ¿Por qué me arrepiento? Pues porque ahora me duele la espalda, porque ahora este, me duele la cabeza. Son cosas así. Obviamente en el contexto de la conversación lo aplica en el que él debió haber llamado, ¿sí? Pero no significa que es la única aplicabilidad que tiene el, el tema, sino que es para expresar cualquier regret del pasado. I should have drunk more water. So no tomé suficiente agua. Entonces yo digo, I should have drunk more water. Debí haber tomado más agua. Bueno, traten de hacer cualquier ejemplo, así usando should have un verbo en past participle y cualquier, en cualquier sentido. Traten de hacerlo, me lo pueden decir o lo pueden escribir. Primero piensen, like, ¿cuál es la consecuencia y qué debía haber hecho qué no debía haber hecho? Podría ser en negativo también, I shouldn't have. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mientras lo pensamos, igual voy a compartir el cuadro donde les explican esa estructura. Igual, enfoquémonos en la parte que está a su izquierda de la pantalla, ¿verdad? On your left hand side of the screen. I shouldn't have eaten six pupusas. Ajá. Ahora me duele la panza. Este no me debe haber comido las seis pupusas. I shouldn't have eaten too much. Ajá. I should have updated in English. Me debe haber actualizado en inglés. <laughs> nice. Ya ven, ustedes se saben. I should have done this assignment earlier. I should have done this before. Ajá. I should have asked the price. Exactly. Debía haber preguntado el precio. Ahora ya me arrepiento de haber pedido esto. Es está caro. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso es expresar un regret o expresar un remorse. Obviamente es algo del pasado. Que debí o no debí haber hecho. Yes. Nice. Very good. I should have learned more verbs in past participle. <laughs> Justamente according to this topic. <laughs> I should have studied English before this. <laughs> I should have paid the electricity bill yesterday. Now I have to pay extra. I shouldn't have spent so much money last month. Right? 
Okay, I should have drunk more coffee because I'm sleepy. <laughs> okay, I should have eaten better in past participle. I should have slept. I should have slept more. I should have slept too much. Okay, ahí tendría que ser. No debía haber dormido mucho o debía haber dormido más. I should have slept more or I shouldn't have slept too much. I should have gotten up earlier this morning because I got a bit late to my work. All right, I should have been more careful. Debía haber sido más cuidadoso. I should have. I should have practiced more. I should have studied more. Yes? Así es como expresamos los regrets and los remorse. ¿Hay preguntas? ¿Alguna doubt? Oh, I should have seen that movie. Me too. <laughs> okay. ¿Hay alguna duda aún? ¿No? ¿Seguros? Sure. More examples. I should have said more examples. <laughs> I should have repeated this. I should have participated, you say, right? Bye. Déjeme. Porque aquí no está la activity, solo déjeme regresar acá. Okay, here we go. Mm, she could whip. Bye, vamos a compartir desde acá. Okay, I shouldn't have eaten too much. Right? Just like me. <laughs> okay. Right. But in the exercise, obviamente, de acá les piden que usen no solamente el should have. Puede ser should have, could have, or would have. And simple words. Should have, debía haber. Could have, pude haber. O hubiese, el would have, right? En este caso, el ejercicio se presta para cualquiera de los tres. Obviamente tenemos que entender las sentencias, ¿verdad? Y dice, complete the sentences with should have, could have, or would have. Estas palabras, las tres tienen L, pero ninguna suena. Ok, should, could, would. Should have, could have, would have. And, plus, and past participle, eso sí. En cualquiera de las tres, el verbo tendrá que ir en past participle. All right, veamos la primera. If the servers had received proper training, they could have answered the customer's questions. Si los servers hubiesen recibido un entrenamiento apropiado, ellos pudieron haber respondido las respuestas, las preguntas, perdón, de los customers. All right. The bartender... Aquí él da la opción. Should, pero en negativo. Bla, bla, bla. Entonces, vamos a trabajar en este exercise. In pairs or in groups. Déjenme ver en qué estamos. We are, yes, in the small groups. Ok, let's go.
porque así no nos va a dar. They can. They can. Así. Pero vean. Shouldn't have taken. Yes. Yes, yes. Ok, entonces sería como The bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. El bartender, el bartender no debió, o sea, no, no, shouldn't, ¿qué es? Should, es, podría. Debería. Podría, debería, debería. Ah, okay. debería haber, no debería haber tomado la botella de vino sin permiso. Ok, tenía sed. Vamos a ver. The server would. Entonces sería aquí. Would. Have. Be en pasado participio. Eh, dijo ella que era. Bin. 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 Pues así, ¿verdad? Okay. The servers would have been uh, in trouble if they had been, been late for the meeting. Okay. Should. Should have. How? Ask it. Es este, ¿verdad? Sí, creo que es regular. Sí, es regular. Ask it. Lo voy a dejar así un ratito, después lo buscamos. Es regular. Ask. Ok. Ask, ask it. Entonces, o ask. Ask it. Ask it. Ok. The cashier should. should uh, uh -huh. You should ask it. Uh -huh. you, you should have. Ask. You should have. Ask. Y ask it, ask it. Ask. Ajá, con el ID al final. The manager for a day off. Manager for a day off, ajá. Number five, this is the cashier. The cashier. Shouldn't, shouldn't have taken that money from the ring. Shouldn't, shouldn't have taken. No debió haber tomado ese mm -hmm. dinero de nuestro. Mm -hmm. Se ha taken that money from the. Mm -hmm. Taken. Okay. Y... <coughs> yeah, I shouldn't have called. Called. <coughs> You should have asked con ed al final a s k e d. Vaya, las cinco sería the cashier shouldn't have taken that money from the register.
Sería, I should have called to let the manager. Mm -hmm. I should call, I, I should have called. Con la ED al final, el call. I was sick. Así que, si quiere, le damos una, una, usted, una, yo, para ver si las tenemos iguales. Vaya. La primera. If the servers. Ah, no, esa no es. <laughs> uh -huh, esa no. La segunda. The bartender should not have taken that bottle of wine with, without permission. Mm -hmm. sí, no. mm -hmm. eh, la tercera es the service will have. Mm. Entonces me, me, me confuse. Teacher, this is, this is the part of English when I hate. <laughs> really? Yeah. The verbs to me, to be, to me, are the, <laughs> the worst. most difficult, the worst, the most difficult uh, part. All of right, English. tell me what part is okay. killing you now. Quiere cambiar okay. la oración muy fácil. Okay, in, in this case, uh, the cashier shouldn't took that money from the register. That's correct. Siempre tiene que ir el have. Shouldn't have taken. Shouldn't have. Oh, okay. No debió haber tomado. Correcto. Uh -huh. In this case, I shouldn't have called uh -huh. to let I the manager. I should have called the manager. I should have called to let in the manager. present. Uh -huh. In present, not in no. past. Si es en past participo, pero le pone ed porque es un verbo regular. Okay. I shouldn't have called uh -huh. to let the manager I was sick. Sí, ahí tendría que ser to let the manager know, porque es como para dejarle saber al manager que Correct, estoy... Sí, no, estamos de acuerdo, Ajá, estamos de acuerdo. Yes. Solo que this... eh, hay un typo, solo, solo eso le quería decir, que sí falta el to let the manager know. No, ok. Mm -hmm. You should have asked the manager for a day off. Exactly, you should have asked. The asked. server will, will, will have... Been. Been. In trouble. Been mm -hmm. in trouble. Okay. Yeah, yeah, would have been in trouble. The bartender should, shouldn't have took. Taken. Why not took? Because it's the past participle. Past participle. Uh -huh. It took solo the el part past part. form. They okay. took taken. Por eso les decía, el reto definitivamente es en los verbos irregulares. Ok, pero eso es guayabeado. Definitely, no hay otra forma hasta ahorita. Yeah, I've been teaching English for more than 20 years y uh -huh. no, hay, no hay forma, o sea, ni que lo operen, uh -huh. o sea, le inserten un chip. No way. And that's the way I learned. That's the way many people have learned. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pero se aprende que... más rápido si lo aprendemos en contexto, eso sí. Okay. Sí, totalmente ¿verdad? de acuerdo. Porque cuando usted se sienta con el listado, dice, ah, no, ya valí. O sea, no me voy a aprender estos 200 verbos de una vez. Porque no es así isolated, pero acá en contexto, ¿sí? Porque usted ah, busca el que necesita. Eh... Ah, en el pues colegio sí. se nos ponía. Claro, a mí me ponían vaya 20 verbos y el, para cada dos que falla un punto menos. Sí, sí y, y así le quedaba la nota. Who's birthday you said? My wife. Tomorrow. Y yo aquí spoiling todo el la sorpresa. No, she's asleep. Ay, ay, Sorry. Están armando la no. surprise. A mí, a mí me lleva, a mí me lleva la que no me trajo el último, trime, el último trimestre. <risa> a nosotros nos pasa eso, pero justo January y February. 
solo en febrero hay cuatro personas en mi oficina de Esther Birthday. Casi todos los días me quedaba tarde yo decorando. <ríe> Ay, y comiendo pastel. No, en the, al, I mean, the amount of money that you have to spend for every, every birthday is lunch, cake, and present. Uh, Ay, sí. ¿Qué a dejar del aguinaldo para...? <ríe> Hay que dejar, pues sí, cabal, a mí septiembre la chiquita, octubre la mayor, noviembre mi esposa, mañana mi, ma, en diciembre el aniversario de bodas. Ay, Dios. Espérense, mañana cumplimos igual aniversario de bodas del civil, porque Ay. nos casamos el día de su cumpleaños. Sí, que la amabas, ¿no? ¿Cuándo? Sí, que la amabas, ¿no? Of course. La quiso complacer en la fecha de nacimiento. Oh, yeah. No, 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 es que su regalo fue casarse conmigo. Ah. <risa> y la modestia. Ah, por supuesto. Pensando en el ahorro de regalo, es que estaba. Ajá, no, me sí. sale más caro porque me toca regalarle doble. Doble. Sí, por el, el cumpleaños y por el aniversario. No, no a mí me cena. toca este mes, my mom's birthday, on the 15th. Ah, el miércoles. Uh -huh. But I'm not. I'm not la verdad que se me complica because of the classes so I think we're gonna postpone the, the party for, for the weekend the joke is tomorrow we can't celebrate in the night why? because my daughter had two parties yeah. alright she's already busy and, and my wife is sick now oh. Then I, I have to go with my daughter to both parties. Uh -oh. And then I just stay tomorrow in one hour. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But then you're going to postpone her birthday celebration for the weekend. Yeah. When she no. feels better. When she feels better, because Saturday we have another uh, 15 years party. Three Ay, parties es que in la two edad, days. La edad de las niñas que tiene. Ay, no, solo en... Celebration pattern. I know my friend has a daughter like <laughs> three years ago. Like every yeah. every weekend was the same story. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, okay, see you in the main session. Hi, ¿cómo les fue con este exercise de la torcha? Ay. <laughs> It just, it's just an exercise, don't worry. Veamos, por acá está. Vaya. Lo vamos a resolver. If you have questions, then you let me know. It's not a problem. Ok, la primera ya está resuelta. So we go to the second one. The bartender. Uh -huh. Student have taken. Ya, yeah. cuando have es taken. en negativo, yo sugiero, así encarecidamente, que lo contracten. Solo ponemos. Shouldn't. shouldn't. O so sea, eso acorta a la hora de hablar. Por eso es que a veces decimos que los gringos unen todas las palabras. Pero no, eso corta a que no digamos un montón de palabras para decir una cosa bien sencilla. Entonces, en lugar de decir should not have, so decimos shouldn't have taken. Yes, shouldn't have taken the bottle of wine without permission. Vale, yo por efecto de espacio le voy a poner esto acá al final. Pero ustedes saben que va aquí, ¿verdad? Porque si lo pongo aquí... No cabe. Yes. Entonces, I'm going to put it right here. It quedaría así. The bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Que el bartender no debió haber tomado esa botella de vino sin permiso. Yeah. So, ese es un regret, un remorse. Vaya. Next one. 
the servers would have been in trouble. Mm -hmm. Would have been in trouble. Tampoco cabe, pero bueno, vamos a forzar aquí un poco. Okay. The servers would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Yes. Todos los servers, los waiters y los waiters hubiesen estado en problema si hubieran llegado tarde a la reunión. Yes. Number four. You should have, have asked. Okay. Should have asked. Ese verbo que se le pone ed se pronuncia como una t. Should have asked. You should have asked the manager for a day off. Cuando le dicen, ah, fíjate que se graduó mi hijo, que no sé qué, y no fui. ¿Por qué? Porque estaba trabajando. Se le, ah, debiste haber pedido el día, right? Should have asked for a day off. Right? That cashier shouldn't have taken. taken. Shouldn't have taken the money, right? La cajera no debía haber tomado ese dinero de la caja. Right? Shouldn't have taken the money from the register. Right? And the number six. I should have called. I should have called to let the manager know that I was sick. Yes. Debía haber llamado para informarle al manager que estaba enfermo. Yes. Bye. Questions. Cualquier cosa, ustedes solo digan. Cualquier remorse que tengan ahorita. Expresión. Yes. En la pronunciación de should have asked, mm -hmm. ¿cómo dijo que era? Should have asked. Have asked. asked. Sí. sí, a los verbos regulares todo se les agrega ed para el pasado y para el pasado participio. Pero la pronunciación puede ser con t para algunos verbos. Con D para otros y con ID para otros. Pero eso lo vamos a ver un poquito más despacio. Don't worry. Ok, entonces en este caso, I should have asked. He should have asked. Okay. Y en el caso de should, en negativo, sería shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Y todavía más. Hay gente que lo... No es que le borre las letras, sino que lo, todavía lo, lo une más el sonido. Dicen should have. Should have, should have asked. Nosotros obviamente lo estamos aprendiendo y decimos should have asked. Y está bien, no hay problema. ¿Ya? Ok, good teacher. All right. Anything else? ¿Algo más? No more. Ok, attendance. Attendance for the third time. Carlos. Present. Cristina. Elsie, Patrick, Present teacher. Present teacher. Isabel, Catherine, Present teacher. Present. Mayra, Present. Nuri, Present teacher. A veces pienso que no estoy pronunciando bien su nombre. I have the idea that I'm wrong. Roberto. Present. Sam. Present. Victoria, Walter, Present and Irma. Va corriendo, está <laughs> Running. Ya ayer nos dormir. acompañó. ¿Quién nos acompañó el día de ayer? Veamos, en el one on one. Uh -huh. No, Pari. Ayer estuvo con nosotros Victoria. Irma, oh my God. Okay. okay, alguien que quiera, volunteer, ya se no fue Irma, somebody, nobody, 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Me teacher. All right, perfect, Carlos. Thank you. And the rest, go to rest. <laughs> bye, bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. They are terrible. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mr. Walter, you couldn't be in class yesterday. Cuéntenos qué le pasó al final. Me? Uh -huh. eh, mira, ayer me desconecté, vi que estaban ya con Vitelia. Me dio sí, pena. Me Hi. No se preocupe, <risa> sí, di su mensaje, tranquila. Oh, no hey, good night. Good night. Good night. Sí, lo vimos que entró, entonces yo dije, bueno, quizás se va a quedar para hacer algunas questions. Pero después de que se había ido, y dije, ok, bye. Sí. No, <risa> sí. Uh, sí, vine antes de las 10. Y ya, ya. hasta que se tuvo que regresar. Eh, cambiaron los planes. Issues. <risa> que hubo problemas, sí. Ay, <risa> Ay, no. Pero sí, el recorrido es lejos. Sí, sí. So you left around 6 p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Uh, I, I arrived. Really? That's bad. Es que lo que, lo que pasa es esto, de que, o sea, yo ando en los carros de la empresa, pero de Soyapango a mi casa me... A lot. <laughs> o sea, ahí pierdo tiempo. Yes, and you live by Zaragoza, you said. Yeah. Right. In Miramar. In? Miramar. Miramar. Ya la he oído. Maybe. No. <laughs> me suena, <laughs> pero no like it. In, no me in, ubico como, like, exactly. San José ah. Villanueva. Ah. Like going to El Puerto. I go to El Puerto. Mm -hmm. In the kilómetro... I, rem I remember when I drive to El Puerto. <laughs> yo, solo para, <laughs> yo solo para conocer el bypass, I drive. <laughs> ah, Pero es okay. difícil. Esas curvas. No feas. Sí, yo dije, ¿y este carro qué onda? No frena. <risa> yo iba preocupada. Yo. Y chollando llantas. Sí. Horrible, horrible, de verdad. Es que cada uno al inicio empieza como, ah, it's okay, let's go fast. Pero then and they go like very close. Se ven los separadores que hay varios chollones. Yeah, and it's difficult porque una vez agarro ya velocidad es bastante difícil. Yes. Sí, difficult to hold. Yes, Espacio. slowly. And then you drive from San Pango to San Jose Villanueva every day. Every day. Sí, eso es lo que lo más lo alcanza. Sí, ya me acostumbré, pero, pero sí, a veces se siente mal. Tired, tired, tired. Yes, and taking classes until 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day, no, what pero time? Disfruto, disfruto la clase. Ah, that's okay. What time do you have to go to the office the next day? <laughs> Repeat this. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you have to be at the office the next day? Ah, eh, at 7 p.m. 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. 7 a.m. To be at 7 a.m. at the office, you leave your house at 6. No. I 30. 30, 30. Uh, seven thirty or seven. Mm -hmm. uh, I arrive my house. Mm -hmm. But in the morning, what time do you leave the house? To say a pango. I leave with my house five a.m. Five. Five a.m. Oh. Okay, to leave your house at five, you have to get up at four. Eh, Para poder uh, salir de su up. house at five, you have to leave, you have to get up at four. Uh, four thirty. 
Fuerte yeah, yeah. Eddie and go. <laughs> no, for the, for the, wake up. <laughs> ok, take a fast shower and go. <laughs> sí, porque son two hours, literally, right? Sí, and a lot of gas. In, in, the, in the morning, it's less time because the... There's uh, not much traffic. It's the, the less, less traffic. Yes. At least yeah. coming this way, right? Yes. And why do you live so far away from Soyapango? Bien. ¿Siempre has vivido en San José Villanueva? No, no, tengo 12 años. 12 years of living 12 there. years. And before yes. you live in Soyapango? No, uh, before I live in, in Mexicanos. Really? Because from Mexicanos to Soyapango is near. It's near 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I spend 30 minutes because I live in Mexicanos and I go to Soyapango every day. But the traffic <laughs> is on the opposite. Because when I yes. go, the traffic comes. And when I come, the traffic goes. I say, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, where did, where? Where, Where do I live? Do you live? Where do you Near live? La Yecaca. Ah. Near I... La San Alfonso. Yes. I've It's lived here. Near... Really, where you used to live. And why did you move to San Jose Villanueva? Too far. You wanted to go to El oh. Puerto every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, around the place San Alfonso, the place San Alfonso. Yeah, the, actually yeah. the nieces, well the nephews go to San Alfonso school. They study there. Oh. Mm -hmm. I grow up, grow up. Grew up. Grown, grown up. No, grew Let's up. See. Grew up. up. Uh-huh. Grew up in San Camil. Really? It's near. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I pass by Sacamil when I go to Metropolis. Metropolis. <laughs> because of the shopping mall. Uh, because of okay. Super Selectos, because of Claro, yes. because of all the bills I have to pay. <laughs> uh, the lo malo, the bad. The bad thing is the, bad the traffic. Is the is a, a small apartments. No, este, ¿cómo se llama el centro comercial? Ah, es a, a small parking Metropoli. lot. Eh, today has pluma. Everywhere. You have to pay everywhere. Before, no. Ah, no. Even San Luis doesn't have. Doesn't have. Y la Gran Vía. Really, la Gran Vía doesn't have. Doesn't have. I think no. <laughs> I never go to la Gran Vía. It's too far. Too far away uh, from For here. me, it's a little uh, more near. But uh, well, you have to go all the way to San Jose mm. Villanueva. Yeah, from my house to La Vía, 15 or 20 minutes. With no traffic. With no traffic. Mm -hmm. True. Mm. Yes. Well, We had a conversation about yesterday. All right. <laughs> okay. Practice the verse. Look for the verse and practice. Yeah, the structure is similar, uh, present perfect. Very without... similar, porque tiene have, pero tiene uh -huh. modal antes. Should have, should could have, uh -huh. would have. Yes. Uh -huh. This, I... I remember. That... Uh -huh. I remember. <laughs> I have memories. <laughs> true, true, true. Good. Eso ya significa que hay conexiones. Uh -huh. <laughs> Connection. <laughs> yes. That's correct. O sea, es, es como que fuera eh, el, el modal plus present The present perfect. perfect. Exactly. Por eso okay. se llama... Eh, Uh, perfect model. Perfect models, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero yo oigo que cuando usted dice, eh, por ejemplo, should, should have, lo dice como con ere. 
Lo que pasa es lo que le decía, que generalmente la gente tiende a unirlo, el should y el have, should have. Y, lo, y los, obviamente los afroamericans lo van a hacer mucho más rápido y mucho más, como más diríamos, unido. no, mucho más resumido, o sea, como que omiten más sonidos. Uno tiende a decir should have y él dice should have. O sea que si me oyen a mí, me a... y este como que está hablando así. Como que palabra por palabra. Ah, como que... Mira, Pero obviamente se entiende porque no es native. Pero ellos dicen uh -huh. should have, could have, would have, could have, should have. Y así. Mira otra cosa. Eh, uh, in December, I am going to to trip uh -huh. in the USA. USA. Bye. USA. Yeah, people say my, my, like Spanish, but they are oh, USA, USA. USA. <laughs> and también en los, en los partidos dicen USA, USA. USA. Mm -hmm. He, my nephew, my nephew is the other. Uh, America. Sobrina, sobrina, sobrina. Oh, sobrina. The nephew. boy is nephew and the girl is niece. Then my nephews and niece. Uh, They told me is no, I can't say negro. No. That's why I say not... Afro American. Ah. That, es, because es, they're, es, yes, they're. El equivalente a moreno. No, es que son afrodescendientes. Por eso es la raza, no más. Porque moreno okay. tendría que ser a dark skin, pero no se les puede llamar en sí. Todo es ofensa por, es por ofensa. todo, sí, uh -huh. por todo lo, lo histórico del, del racismo y del esclavismo. Entonces ellos son afroamerican porque son de descendencia afroamericana. Y otra cosa antes que se me escape, eh, por ejemplo la estructura de What is he, verdad? Pero yo he visto en las películas que el is lo ponen a veces al final. Porque ya no lo están haciendo una pregunta directa, sino que es una pregunta parafraseada. Por ejemplo, es como, me gustaría saber qué es él. Entonces ya dice, I would like to know what he is. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo entendí que era por, pues sí, porque es una forma de hablar de él. Uh -huh. Pero, o sea, no es así la estructura. Pues ellos se entienden porque es preciso una no, es que también es como ya una forma para ofrecer, no es, no es tanto solo propia de ellos, sino que cualquier americano va a usar eso ya en una forma como más... Más informal, más de confianza. Uh -huh, una forma más fluida de hablar, no tanto una forma directa, porque nosotros tendemos a aprender como cosas muy, muy puntuales, en cambio ya entre tanta, o sea, tanta unión, tanta oración que van uniendo, que ya se les hace fácil. Obviamente es un es un native language, no tienen ni que pensarlo, pues nosotros tenemos que pensar dónde voy a poner el verbo, dónde voy a poner el noun, sí. ellos no. Otra ya cosa que les oigo es que silla. Ah, like, sí. Te veo después, silla. Ah, eso es una deformación del idioma. Ah. <risa> o sea, nosotros decimos pero silla, es la que, silla. ¿verdad? Pero de oírlo, eh, me, sirve para entenderles cuando sí, hablan. es la deformación de see you, pero de ser silla. Uh -huh. Okay. Bueno. Okay. Uh, Very good. Recom uh, Recommendation. Uh, <laughs> no, verbo. Es que mire, de verdad que no me sirve. Yo, por ejemplo, a veces saco mi vocabulario, pero el vocabulario que a veces no vuelvo a ver. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso digo, es en el momento, en el momento de ponerse a, 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 como a saber, a querer aplicarlo, a crear oraciones. Por ejemplo, le digo, a las oraciones suyas. Para ver de qué se arrepiente. <risa> no lo quería hacer así como, vaya, confiesa en sus pecados, pero no. <risa> y, a, así y lo otro es que no tengo, no tengo cómo consultar si he hecho bien la oración. Uh -huh. Mande screenshots. Escríbalo en el chat. En el ah, de okay. WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ok. That could be. All right. Okay. Perfect. Have a good night. Thank you for staying. Que aquí nadie quería quedar. <laughs> the same to you, teacher. Good night. Bye. See you too. Bye. Bye.